Okay, we're going to go over a couple of examples on evaluating logarithmic expressions. So our first expression, we have the log of 12 base 4 minus log of 36 base 4 plus log of 192 base 4. And what we want to do is simplify this expression first. Notice that there's a minus sign here and there's a plus sign here. So we're going to go from left to right. This minus sign is going to change into division. So minus stands for division, whereas plus stands for multiplication. So the first thing we're going to write is the log base 4 and then we're going to take 12 and actually divide it by 36. And we will rewrite this part over here. So the log base 4 of 192. So the first thing we're going to do is simpler. The next thing is simplify 12 over 36. And that is going to become log base 4, 12 over 36 simplifies to one third. So plus log base four, 192. Now recall that the plus sign stands for multiplication. So what we're going to do now is write log base four, one third times 192. And next, we're going to multiply one third times 192. One third times 192 is equivalent to 192 divided by 3. And 192 divided by 3 is 64. So what we actually have to find is the log of 64 base 4. What we're looking for, I'm going to rewrite this in exponential form like so. 4 raised to some power of x equals 64. And if you take 4 and multiply it by itself three times, then you get 64. Therefore, our answer here becomes 3. And we can check that by figuring out 4 to the third power. So 4 times 4 times 4. 4 times 4 is 16, and 16 times 4 is indeed 64. So this checks. OK, next up, what we have is the log base 7 x squared minus 4x plus 4 minus log base 7 x minus 2. And recall that we just said the minus sign means division. So we're going to rewrite this as log base 7 x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2. Now, um, you may think that we can leave it like this, the expression like so. However, the top expression can be factored. And to factor this, we need two numbers that multiply to get positive 4 and add up to negative 4. And that will be negative 2. So we're going to rewrite this top part here as the log base 7, x minus 2 squared because x minus 2 times x minus 2 will yield us x squared minus 4x plus 4 over x minus 2. And we can see that this one factor of x minus 2 will cancel out one of the factors of x minus 2 up top. And what we will be left with is log base 7 x minus 2. And that is our answer.